Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Elizabeth. If you're new, I am a Denver-based flight attendant, and I got a trip. So I'm on reserve this month, PM reserve. I will get all into how that works. If you're not interested in how the whole PM thing works and you just want to get to the trip vlog, go here. Otherwise, just hang out. Hannah, what are you getting for me? Creamer? Creamer, yes. My daughter's helping me make my morning coffee because she knows mommy's always better with coffee. I know where the creamer is. She knows where the creamer is. We're gonna get started with our day. So let's talk about the reserve system. This month, the month of May, I'm on PM reserve. I've been wanting to talk to you guys about reserve for a while, but I didn't know how to make a video about reserve and not just bore you silly. So if you're not interested at all, you just want to get to the regular flight attendant vlog, click here, well not click here, <laughs> go here and fast forward to the regular flight attendant vlog. So AM reserve, that's the first type of reserve I wanna to talk to you about. Those are the folks that are on reserve from 4 a.m. local to 10 a.m. local. Now the company, when they call them, has to give them two hours to get to the airport, but they cover that first part of the day. Then PM reserve, which is what I'm sitting for the month of May, is uh, we are available at home from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. After 6 p.m., they can't call me anymore for that day, and they have to wait till the following day to give me a call for PM Reserve. Ready Reserve. Ready Reserve is typically the most junior type of reserve at my airline. So I don't have to sit Ready Reserve anymore unless I want to. So Ready Reserve, you start at home. They can call you again as early as two hours before the first originating flight. The first flights that leave the base, two hours before that, they can give you a call. And then they can call you until the last flight of the night leaves. They also are the ones who sit airport standby. If you've ever watched any other flight attendant vloggers, I know many of them have talked about sitting airport standby. The only type of reserve flight attendants at my carrier who sit airport standby is ready reserve. And that's where they call you and they assign you a five hour block to actually go sit in the base and wait just in case a flight attendant doesn't show up and it's a last minute thing. Maybe she gets sick on the way to the airport. Maybe there's an accident or traffic and she's gonna miss her flight. They will call those of the flight attendants that are on airport standby and get them to go down and work the flight because again, all of the other reserves, AM and PM, have to have a two hour call ahead. But if it's a last minute situation, that's why we have airport standby flight attendants. They're the ones who fix those last minute issues. All right, that's enough talk about reserve. Now I've actually gotta go get ready for my trip. Honestly, I'm done packing. I need to clean up the house a little bit so it's not like a total train wreck while I'm gone. So let's go inside and I'm gonna do some cleanup and packing and get ready to go. And we're gonna head to the airport in a little bit. my stuff in the 
car and I go to pick up Hannah from preschool and I cannot find my employee badge and I'm panicking but trying to stay calm so that I can look for it be logical look for it not in a frenzy and so I look upstairs in my bathroom I look um, we have hooks where we hang up all our coats. I took those all off. I looked in the pockets of the coats. I looked in the junk drawers. <laughs> um, I can't be the only, we can't be the only family with just, with more than one junk drawer. Um, can't find it. Go to pick up Hannah, call my husband, tell him, we'll ask him, is it in your car? Because he picked me up from the airport on my last trip and I thought maybe I took it off. Uh, yeah, that's at the end of the vlog. I'll post right here if you want to watch and um, I can't find it. I can't find it. So I call the base. I know what I have to do at least because I've lost it once before and then found it after the trip. And so I call. It's very inconvenient to lose your badge as a flight attendant. Um, it's doable. And ironically, mine has to be replaced this month, this month, but the replacement badges are not in yet. Five dollars. We'll see if the TSA notices. They always notice when the badge is expiring, which is good. That means they're reading it. So um, I found it. Praise the sweet baby Jesus, I found it. So I'm at the airport. I got really good parking. Yay! And let's go inside. Let's see where we're going today. So I wanted to do a little mini base tour. This is our kitchen area. There's microwaves, ice machines, and vending machines, and places for people to sit and eat. There's lots of lounge chairs to hang out in if you are sitting airport standby or waiting for your next flight. We also have this computer room great for checking in. You can bid in here. You can check your schedules, check your company email. We also have a sleeping room or a quiet room that's used for flight attendants that are waiting for their flights either to go home or to start their trip. It's just a great space if you need a rest before you have to go to work. And now back to the vlog. So, I got on the train after going through security and I noticed I have a voicemail. So I checked my voicemail, it's scheduling and they changed my whole trip. <laughs> so now I'm flying A, which is lead, which was what I was trying to avoid, but oh well, we'll get it done. I just have to find the announcements and refresh and yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go find my new gate, maybe get some coffee. It's only one flight today to Raleigh, so I can do this. So I'm in Raleigh. This room is really nice. I feel like I've stayed here before. I just don't totally remember. We need some lights. So let's flip you around while I do my safety check and give you a slight room tour. All right, so this room, huge bonus points. Refrigerator, microwave, coffee maker. Look at that. Got the living room, nice big room, big bathroom area. Turn on some more lights and a bathroom. Pretty standard, but big and nice. All right, so I'm in bed. I've heated up my food in these cute little containers, these reusable like Ziploc baggy type things. 
and nothing leaked to my food bag, so I'm happy. I got my veggies. I'm gonna make lettuce tacos. Got a little cheese. Got my iPad so I can watch some Hulu. I am currently working my way through the new season for Handmaiden's Tale. I need suggestions for another series to watch, either Hulu, Netflix, or um, Amazon Prime. Those are the three that I have on my iPad. So I'm gonna eat, uh, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna keep it a secret. I don't think I've told you where tomorrow's overnight is. It's one of my favorite overnights. I am excited. It's not super long, but it's not super short. So even though I'm flying lead, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I flew lead today was the first time I have flown A or lead in, I don't know, a year and a half to two years. I'm not sure. It's been a long time. It went really good. Uh, it was nice just having one flight today. It kind of broke me in and good good group of people. So I'm going to eat, watch a little TV, go to bed. And then we have, I can't remember if we have two or three flights tomorrow to our next top secret location. You don't want to leave because that the next overnight is exactly what I think people envision every overnight for flight attendants to be like. So stay tuned. Good morning. Well, technically it's afternoon. Let's look at the clock. Yeah, it's 1230. I stayed up pretty late last night. I had trouble falling asleep, but I did. Slept good. It's 1230. I have to be down at 215. Let's go see what the world looks like. See if it's sunny out, make some coffee, make some breakfast and get ready to go to our mystery location. Three flights to the mystery location. All right, let's go get ready. waffles. One of those waffles always turns out smaller than the other. I never seem to portion them back into the waffle maker correctly. So I'm going to enjoy some breakfast, give my husband a call, and then get the show on the road. We were late, so I had to rush to get food because I didn't pack enough food. They switched my trip, which I talked about earlier, at the airport. Um, so like a rookie, I did not pack enough food. Uh, let me take my shoes off. Um, I'm gonna show you tomorrow where I am. This is like literally also if I can get my shoes off. One of my favorite rooms. Um, oh, I can get my shoes off. All right. Okay, let's turn on the lights. I did see that there's a box under the bed. So it's a nice, huge room. So we got bed, windows on both sides. Spin around this way. The entrance has a little coffee maker. And then, <laughs> bathroom. All right, I'm gonna eat. We'll see if I come back tonight. If not, stay tuned for where we are. Fort Lauderdale. It's my favorite. 
one of my favorite overnights. I mean, because you can't really get mad at the beach. It's cloudy, a little bit cloudy and windy, but it's still really nice. Especially since it's supposed to snow in Colorado on Tuesday. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited to be here. I might go up to the pool. They, it, we do get um, chair rental and towels for free at our hotel, so that's super awesome. And the water is a little chilly, so I'm not going to get in the water, but I might go see what the pool is like. And yeah, so last night, had a little trouble sleeping and I kept falling asleep and then someone would slam their door and it felt like it rocked the whole room. I hate that. But flight flights yesterday all pretty good. Our last flight was late. We were waiting for inbound connecting passengers and so that was a little rough. There was a woman in the back of the plane that um, was not happy that we were running late and let one of my fellow flight attendants know that she was upset about it. All in all, we ended up only being 25 minutes late, which I swear we left way later than 25 minutes. But when we're flying that last flight someplace, like to Fort Lauderdale, they will more times than not hold the plane for inbound passengers on a connecting flight because they don't want to strand them in the airport if it's our fault they're late or they're not, they just don't want to strand them in the airport. So they will wait. Um, which I understand this woman was frustrated with that process, but I would hope that in the future, if she ends up being late and we hold for her, she would be happy. So she was going for a not fun reason to Fort Lauderdale. So I'm just thinking that she had personal stresses and she complained to the two other flight attendants and then our first officer on the way out. So. What you're gonna do? All we can do is apologize and move on with our day. So I'm gonna enjoy some of this. I'll show you some. There's supposed to be an air show. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see any of it from here. Um, I need to check the schedule and see if it started yet, but it's a day at the beach before I fly home. We're headed home today. Three home. by the beach, some vitamin C as my husband would say. I'm gonna go back to the hotel room, shower, and get ready to leave. And there's fire trucks and stuff here. I saw one of the lifeguards drive down. So hopefully it's nothing too serious. Ooh, we got lots of fire trucks. It's never a good sign. So I'm all packed up, ready to head out. One of the things that's drilled into us as flight attendants, maybe just as airline folks, on time is late, early is on time. So, gonna zip up my bag. We're gonna head to the airport. Day three, go home day. Three flights back to Denver. My first one's pretty long. Dem um, Fort Lauderdale to Dallas, about three hours. So, let's get the show on the road.
All right, so we have one down, two more to go. We're in Dallas, we're headed to Phoenix, and then to Denver. It's an all base kind of day. All of them are crew bases, so I think that's funny. I got off, I got some food. The wrap I got at the hotel was not very satisfying, so I'm still a little hungry, but I'm gonna get on, and we're gonna board in probably about 10 minutes, and we're gonna be on our way to Phoenix. All right, so we just finished our last service, last flight. We did have a maintenance delay, but better safe than sorry. Almost home. 49 minutes, yay! Well, you know you're one of the last flights in when the arrival and departure boards are all reset for tomorrow. Yeah. Headed to the car, we're done. I'm in the parking garage. Hopefully this is not too bouncy. I'm gonna end the vlog out here in the parking garage because there's better lighting. I'll just stop for a minute. So, good flight. I hate being late, but I would rather have had the maintenance delay today versus yesterday. I wouldn't have gotten any food and I would have been so hungry. So I'm home. My next trip is actually another block of reserve. I traded for an AM block, so. Instead of PM, I did it because this block is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it's been a little bit challenging, but I bid that way so that I can have Mother's Day off, which is tomorrow. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and I will see you guys in the sky. Bye.